it perfect. Every time you run it through the same range, you're gonna be finding the air fuel differs a little bit. That's just gonna be the way it is. Uh, it's Control L, F10. Now, I'm ready to do my full throttle pulls. Um, I'm gonna go in, focusing on eight, nine, and 10 here, and try to fill out the table. So I'm gonna go put my dyno into its dyno mode. I'm in F1 mode here. And let's try a full throttle pull and build out our lambda overlay for the 20 degree cam angle table. There we go, put it into gear. F9 to data log, let's try it. Okay, it's F10. And let's take a look at this. Let's jump into our table here. Um, we're gonna be finding that we need to uh, lean it out a little bit on the lambda overlay. Looking at our dynograph, you can see the blue line is representing our 20 degree, and then the other lines are gonna be our 10 degree. You can see that the mid-range has gained um, a bit, about five foot-pounds of torque, four to five foot-pounds of torque. And then as we get up to 5,500, we're gonna be seeing that it uh, drops power and actually makes less power than 10 degrees. That is normal on the low cam. That's actually going to be normal on the high cam as well. We're going to be seeing that we can't use as much variable cam and overlap at the higher RPM. Now, one thing I want to point out here as we're kind of talking about things, looking at our torque curve and looking at our two-dimensional line, you can see the shape of them is going to be pretty similar if we compare the two right now. And that's because this is going to loosely represent the cylinder filling for our engine looking at our two-dimensional table. So I always like to do a cross-reference and uh, just make sure that these are lining up with what I see on the dyno screen, which they are. So let's go in and make some changes here. Um, we're going to be finding, now, another thing of interest or of a note that I want to point out here. We copied and pasted our 10-degree cam angle table, fuel table, not cam angle, our 10-degree cam angle fuel table to our 20-degree. When we ran the numbers here at full throttle, we found that we have to pull some fuel out. Now, looking at a dyno screen, if we look at the torque curve, we can see the blue line above 5,500 is showing it's making a lot less torque and the horsepower is actually dropping. And if we look here in the actual overlay, we're going to be seeing that it's actually rich. We have to take out fuel. This is substantial when you're doing your cam angle tuning. If you don't have a dyno available and you're trying to figure out what cam angle is going to be optimal, if you're using my method where you're copying and pasting your lower cam angle from 10 into 20, and then you're making a pull, if you're noticing at any given point that it runs rich, that cam angle is not going to work at that particular load at RPM point. So we know at this point here, uh, about 